Hello, my loves. Right. Um, this is a... <laughs> I'm reviewing a new lamp, but I have already used it and you've seen me use it multiple times in videos, but I kept forgetting to explain more about it. So, um, because I did an unboxing live on TikTok and then... I didn't think I could save it or anything to show you guys. So I'm going to do it on here and then I'm going to do a design. Um, so it's kind of a mishmash video. This is a bit of a review, but also a design. And I'll use the the new lamp as part of that design to cure the gel, obviously. Um, I've had, oh, ding, time at the bar, please. My My desk is so small. Everything just gets in the way. I don't like my lighting. I need help. Um, I've had a few people message for like asking me how my hand's doing. Um, so I'll show you. Um, so this is my healthy, healthy thumb. Okay. And this is my not so healthy thumb. Um, this one is fine. I can do all sorts with it. This one I can bend about that far. Um, but it bends the other way really well and gets stuck there all the time. And um, apparently I'm going to see a physio next. Isn't that great? Um, I did put, somebody said to me, try wearing your splint at night. And I wore it all night last night. And when I woke up this morning, it was, my thumb was skinny like this one. All the swelling was gone. But within a couple of hours of working, I'm back to this again. So I can't splint it when I work. It's just not possible. Uh, so I really don't know. And the pain is ridiculous. Uh, but we're just going to crack on. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't really think, what can they do? I was born with, like, double jointed thumbs. What are they going to do? <laughs> Undouble jointed? I don't know. Um, so let me just grab this lamp and show you. This, um, you've seen me use it and I have spoken about it. It's time at the bar, please. <laughs> It's the portable lamp from Melody Susie. I'm just going to show you the base of it here. So this is the base. You turn it on and off with this button. Um, you charge it up at the back here. I actually used my uh, MacBook charger for it because I've misplaced the lead. <laughs> Whoops. Um, oh, hello. There we go. So it's really simple to use because it's got the base is weighted, so it's not going to fall anywhere. The arm is fully flexible, so you can bend it in, you can get it right in for detail. There's your LED bulbs there. Um, this is fully flexible and it's quite good. The base is, like I said, weighted, so you can bend the top around any old way. I'm going to bend it right round. I'm going to bring it in here like this, turn it round. It's not going to go anywhere. That base is like really weighted and sturdy. Let me just extend that back out. Um, you simply turn it on and you've got your basic lamp function. And then if you touch the top, just touch, it gives you 60 seconds of uh, UV light. And then after the 60 seconds, it will automatically switch back. So it's really, really good. It's really, really useful for curing. You, I, I like it for sticking on gel tips, like the full cover. And also, if you're doing nail art, and especially if you're working on, on a silicon hand, because they are a bugger to get in and out of the lamps. They're just a nightmare. I do have my Melody Susie lamp built in with the e-file on my desk. And that has a removable bottom. But if I'm doing nail art and designs and stuff, you've seen me pull this one out many a time because it's so quick just to cure what's in place there. Just get it on, get it, give it a flash core, keep it all in place, keep designing and then cure the whole hand if you want to. It's also good for curing on crystals because if you're using a gel, you can actually position that lamp. Oh, there you go, it's turned off now. To the side to get right in there, you can kind of get right up close. And also, just look how beautiful it makes the crystals look. Like, it's a gorgeous light. It's really good for... Oh, yeah, mama, look at that. Anyway, that's the lamp. I'm going to use that to cure today's designs just because it's easy. Um, I've got a 12% discount code for Melody Susie, uh, which is in the description box along with the link. 
I shouldn't I should promote it more really I forget I've got a discount code so it'll be in the description box um, I was going to use because I've got a really good collection of their gel polishes but I didn't have the colours I wanted which was frustrating uh, it was just I had an idea in mind for a design and I really wanted a selection of greens and I didn't have them in Melody Susie so I am going to be using Madame Glam gel for this video but uh, it does cure with this lamp. I've tried it. So there you go. And I'm not using it on a person anyway. I'm using it on full cover tips. So it doesn't invalidate insurance if it was if I was, it's just like designing a set of press on nails for somebody. So let me just get everything in order and cover up this horrible, puffy, disgusting thumb. All right, my duckies, I'm switching to voiceover mode. Um, I'm going to be using the colour Mother Nature from Madame Glam, and I'm going to be doing two coats of this on four of the nails, but I'll only show you one because obviously it will be the same thing over and over again. The coverage on this is insane. It's very gorgeous, and it's a 30-second cure. Um, some of these I forgot to show you, me curing it with the other lamp, but it's okay. So it's all good. Um, so I'm doing my second coat now. Second coat in Bish Bash Bosh. Lovely. Give that a cure. And then we'll do a little bit of nail art. So I'm going to be using Blooming Gel. And also the colours I Lime You. Grassy Sassy and Early Bird. And we're going to do a little Hombre Marble. How about that? So I'm going to apply those onto my new palette, which was made by Just Joe Nail Addict. Just going to alternate and I'll put the lighter colour at either end. I don't know why, but I felt it looked good. And then I'm going to use my dotting tool to just merge them a bit and marble them a little bit you don't have to do it this way that's just the way i did it today applying the blooming gel to the previously cured nail which still has its inhibition layer on so it's still got its tacky layer so one will grip to the other but the blooming gel just allows the gel i'm about to apply to flow so don't cure the blooming gel yet leave it wet scoop up some of that marble and then just apply it i'm using a flat gel brush and you'll see that marble kind of disperse around the edges. It softens it. It gives it such a beautiful, beautiful look. I really love this. Um, and I'm just going to go on. So on the left-hand side of the design, the marble will go left to right. And on the right-hand side of the design, the marble will go right to left. So the whole set flows into the central nail, which will be a design nail. So this is really, really quick and easy for salon work because you've really only got one detailed nail and the rest are just this kind of marble ombre type thing, which is nice and easy to do. Um, that had a quick freeze cure under the portable lamp, and then I'm on to the next nail. And I'm going to do exactly the same, but I'm just going to go, instead of left to right, I'm going to go right to left on this one. So we're drawing the eye into the centre of the design. You know that I want to be good for you. You know that I want to be good for you, I do But sometimes someone was bad for me Sometimes someone was bad, oh can't you see I'm just being weak mm -hmm. I think you know that I care for you I think you know that I care for you, I do But sometimes I can't be there for me Sometimes I can. So then I cured them under my big lamp, my Melody Susie big lamp, and now I'm going to apply top coat. This is the first layer of top coat. I'll use my desk lamp again to uh, cure that into place. And this time I remember to show you. <laughs> I'm so used to just popping it in the lamp. So again, I've put it on and I'm just going to tap like that. There we go, and leave that to do its thing. And then I'll do that top coat on all the other nails as well. Keep on trying, I know we'll be okay, cause we got unconditional love. Sam, I don't want to be mad on you, 
I then buffed the nails so that the surface was nice and smooth because we've added quite a lot of gel and then reapply the top coat on all four of the marble nails. So this is what we've got so far as you can see. I'm now going to work on the central design. I'm going to use Madame Glam's white gel paint. The only reason is because I don't have any white gel polish left. I used it all for a big design a while back and I keep forgetting to purchase more. So I'll do two thin coats of this because this is more for painting and if you do it full coverage you must work thinner because it's highly, highly pigmented. So for the design I'm using these decals, they are on our website, they're created by Zara from ZGC Elite, no ZCG, no ZGC, oh my god, anyway, sorry my brain, you can read it on there, it is ZGC Elite, um, she creates our decals for us and these are available in the July box but you can also buy them individually, I'm going to be using some of the flamingos and some leaves I chose my little decals, I cut them out. I'm going to apply some base coat, a very thin layer to the nail. To the right of me, I've just got a little uh, plate thing uh, with some water in and a couple of little tissue things, lint-free pads, I know what I mean. Um, it's got an S on it, the plate, so that's what you can see glaring through the lint-free pads. Then I will take the decals and just one by one place them in there. They don't need very long. You'll see it starting to curl up. It's a bit like a tattoo when you were a child. That's what it reminds me of. I'll give it about 30 seconds. I'm just lining up the other one where it's going to go. And then this one's all done. I just use my tweezers to get it out. And then I just drain the back and peel it off. And there you go. And I'm going to apply that to the nail. Because I've got base coat, I can move them around. And the reason I did that this time is because I'm using three different decals on one nail. So I don't know if I'm going to have to shimmy them around a little bit or not. So that's the first one on. Now for the second, a little bit of foliage. I absolutely love these decals. They might even be my favourite so far. I'm all about that life right now. The tropicals and the flamingos and the toucans. We've had this planned for a while. It's just not us. Just finally nice to see it. So yeah, the base coat allows me to be able to move them about, and then once I've got them in place, I can quickly fash cure them with my desk Melody Susie lamp with my portable one. Sorry, um, and then pop them in the desk. But just quickly giving it that flash cure is so handy. Having that portable lamp. There we are. Once it's had a little flash cure, I'll pop it in the big lamp for a full cure and then I'm going to apply another layer of base coat because these need to be protected and I want to ensure that if they were on a client's hand, they're going to last. So that's the 30 second cure. The crystals I'm going to be using are the new Beach Babe mix, which is available on its own or in the July box. These are some of the crystals in there. There's one big massive heart in there, which you can just either use for a crazy design or just keep as a beautiful memento because it's so gorgeous. I just had to have it in there. I had to. I couldn't resist. Right, so on top of this base coat now it's cured. I'm going to apply velvet matte top coat. 
from Madam Glam. I will put all the links in the description box with discount codes and things. And then that gets a 30 second cure and then we'll go in with the bling because we know life is better with bling. Alina Crystal's Bling Bond to ensure that these do not come off and the Alina Crystal's pick up tool as well. And then we're just going to crack on and do a simple little cuff design, nothing too fancy. It's just to add that little bit of sparkle. There we go. Once that's done, the set is complete. So here's the finished set. There you go. I really, really hope you like this video. As I said, everything will be in the description box below. If you've got any questions, just pop them in the comments section. Say hi. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you on my next one. Tally bye.